Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is an intraday report for trading on Friday, June the 10th, 2016. And as predicted, the U.S. dollar index is catching a bid today on Take Back Friday. For those of you that are new to the channel, Take Back Friday simply means that if the market's been down all week, Friday is a reversal, uh, the reversal so that people can take profit, have money in their pocket ahead of the weekend. And vice versa, if the market was up, then it'll be down. So that's usually the way it works. Okay, so as you can see here, catching a bid, forming an upward channel, and the market uh, remains strongly supported at 92.49 moving forward. Uh, I anticipate this is going to try to get up to the trend line going into next week of 95.49, and then we'll see where it can go from there. Look at your volume. Look at your volume. This is big. This is big. Okay, looking here now at crude oil. Crude oil is faltering. It has now got it in itself back into the Kumo cloud. Uh, still remains well supported at 41.55. And right now you can see it is struggling up in here. And it's currently down a buck 50, trading at 49.05. Still, even though this is a uh, sharp pullback from off its highs, it's still well supported at 41.55. So going into next week, this sets the stage for sideways to lower prices. It could get down to where the trend line support is here. This orange line at 45.16. We'll have to wait and see, but the market is strongly supported right now. Um, but the overall position is uh, pulse wave positive because we are trending, as you can see this upward channel right here. Momentum's coming off though, so really not a lot to write home about or be afraid of. Um, the bulls are still in control of this market for the time being. All right, looking at the S&P 500 now, taking a little bit off the table on Take Back Friday. Um, this right here is, has all the makings of a bearish engulfing candle. And we can still, because of the current upward trajectory, the market could, could withstand this pullback even to 2070 and still be bullish. All right. Uh, the market is strongly supported at 20.53 and a half, and even if we get back to the purple trend line of uh, 20.41 and a half, with the orange one at 20.19 and a quarter, the market still well supported, so it could sustain, uh, you know, a 50-point drop from here and still be in a bullish overall position. The market is pulse wave positive and. I just see this being a, a move taking a little bit off the table and retracing uh, from the actual range here, the, the original breakout range back here. So this one is, um, I'm not all that excited about what's happening today. All right, switching our attention to gold now. Uh, as you can see, gold is running up toward its upward, uh, upward resistance of 1298.70. If the market um, breaks through that, going into next week putting this in well into the 1300 range uh, it could gain a lot of momentum it could gain a lot of momentum so the test is going to be the upward resistance right here if we can break that 1300 next week then this could be off to the races and as you can see uh, both trend line supports are outside of the Kumo cloud they're on top of the Kumo cloud this is the beginning of a bullish position, a bullish pattern, a strong bull pattern. As long as the, um, if we, as long as we can break above this 1300, this should help solidify these down here and help turn them upward. And giving this a thrust, and giving it just like a, a paddle ball. How a paddle ball hits, the, the paddle goes down, bends down, and then flexes back up like a rubber band and knocks the ball up. All right, so that's what we see happening going and going into next week in this market um, pretty pretty powerful substantial move not overbought it can still um, you know still go up a lot more okay now looking at silver upward resistance is 1790 and right now we're at 1732 the market's making a run for it uh, its trend lines are not outside of the Kumo cloud just yet um, just the purple line is just a smidgen uh, going to need a little bit more. This because this one's been the laggard. This could be the most powerful move, and it could really, 
if it gets above the 1790 next week it could really explode and and move a couple of bucks in a day i'm looking at two three dollar moves coming up uh if that can happen if not and i warn everyone if not a double top can be formed and the metals will be smacked down all right make no mistake the banks still control the global manipulation of markets and they can do what they want to do but for right now markets catching a bid silver however is showing signs of overbought all right gotta watch the pullback correction uh, when Monday comes around so we'll see what happens Monday but um, you know yet four weeks down so this is a strong retracement and already technically speaking you're pretty much at that 61.8 percent retracement just about so I mean technically speaking it could fall back down next week and you can make the argument that this is a downtrend channel right here alright because technically speaking it's pulse wave negative alright so are we going to see a smackdown into Monday I don't know uh, I just call, call how I see it and how I see it right now is it is possible we won't know more until the, the the close of today and I do the updates and run the the numbers through the system then we'll see what comes out but just be aware that it is possible to get a 911 crash alert on the close today just keep all that in mind okay with that said that's it this was our midday snapshot see you at the end of the trading day